welcome you all to formation of aliphatic carbon carbon bonds using acid as catalyst. In this model so far we had one lecture in that we studied about the reactions of alkenes, aldehydes and ketone. In this lecture we will study about the manic reaction. It involves the reaction of amine aldehyde to give a imenium ion which undergoes addition reaction to give beta amino derivatives. For example, in this case the secondary amine undergoes reaction with the formaldehyde to give imenium ion which leads to addition reaction with this enolysable ketone to give this beta amino carbonyl compound as the product. The mechanism of this transformation shown here, protonation of the carbonyl group of formaldehyde can give this species which is more electrophilic in nature comparing to formaldehyde. Once you form this which can undergo addition with this amine to give the addition compound which can lose a proton to give this amino alcohol as a product. Since we carry out the reaction in the presence of catalytic amount of acid and protonation of the hydroxy group can give this hydronium ion species which can lose a water molecule to give this imenium ion which acts as electrophile in manic reaction. Since the reaction is acidic in nature and this carbonyl compound can undergo protonation with this acid and you will have uh, the species once you form this one, this can lose a proton to give this enol. This can now undergo addition with this imenium ion that we formed from the reaction of formaldehyde and secondary amine to give this addition product. Once you have this addition product that can leave, uh, lose a proton to give this uh, beta amino carbonyl compound as a product. What you do here, you generate uh, two bonds, one carbon carbon bond between this carbon and uh, this carbon of this uh, imenium salt. In addition to that, you also form a carbon nitrogen bond from the carbon of uh, formaldehyde and nitrogen of amine. So, basically you form carbon nitrogen carbon carbon bond to give this beta amino carbonyl compound as a product. This is a three component reaction as you can see here the reaction of amine, aldehyde and enolysable aldehyde are involved to give this amine beta amino carbonyl compound as the product. Now let us look at what kind of amine, what kind of uh, enol derivatives can be used for this reaction. If we use primary amine for example, it can undergo reaction as we have seen earlier with the formaldehyde to give the corresponding imenium salt. as electrophile which can now react with the enolysable ketone for example you will get if you use this ketone which can undergo addition reaction you will get this compound as the product. So, this also this is a secondary amine which can further undergo reaction with another molecule of uh, formaldehyde you form
this imenium salt which can further react with this enol to give this addition product. It involves a double two manic reactions sequentially. First, the primary amine reacts with the formaldehyde. You form an imenium salt which undergoes addition reaction with the enol that is formed from this ketone to give a secondary amine as the product which can further react with another molecule of formaldehyde and which can give uh, this imenium ion as uh, electrophile which can lead to addition with this uh, enol that we can generate from this ketone to give this as a product. So, if you have primary amine you need a two equivalent of uh, formaldehyde and a enolizable ketone to get this derivative. You can also use ammonia in place of uh, primary or secondary amine. As we have seen earlier this ammonia now can react with the formaldehyde you will be able to form this imenium ion as uh, electrophile. Once you form this one this can react with this enol you will be able to get this primary amine uh, as a product. Once if you have this amino derivative which can further react with another molecule of formaldehyde you will be able to generate this kind of imenium ion which can further react with this enol that we generate from this ketone. Addition reaction you get this secondary amine derivative which can further react with another molecule of formaldehyde which can give imenium ion as a salt which can undergo further reaction with this enol that we can generate from this ketone to give this tertiary amine derivative as the product. So, if you look at here and in this case you produce two water molecule as the product. Uh, you, when you uh, do condensation of this amine with the formaldehyde you generate one molecule of water and imenium salt which undergoes addition reaction with the enol. And similarly that whatever secondary amine which can undergo reaction with this uh, formaldehyde by condensation you will generate another molecule of water that imenium ion can undergo reaction to give this. Uh, so, in this case uh, you will be able to generate three water molecule and uh, you need a three uh, equivalent of uh, formaldehyde and this ketone therefore, you will be able to make this uh, tertiary amine derivative as the product. Now, let us look at what kind of uh, substrate can undergo addition reaction with this imines that we generate from the aldehyde and amine as electrophile. If you have enolizable aldehyde for example, here uh, we have taken uh, isobutyraldehyde in acidic medium it can form enol. So, if you have for example, in this case the reaction all the reaction use formaldehyde and dimethylamine. So, this can undergo reaction now since you carry out the reaction in the presence of catalytic amount of acid. As we have seen previously this formaldehyde now can undergo condensation with this dimethylamine. So, you will be able to generate this salt once you form the imenium ion now this enol can undergo addition reaction you will be able to form this compound. Similarly, you can also use ketone just we have seen this also can form enol.
which can react with this aluminum salt so you'll be able to form this uh, beta amino carbonyl compound as a product you can also use in place of aldehyde and ketone you can also use this diester which can also analyze in the presence of catalytic amount of acid so which can now undergo addition reaction you will be able to form this compound 2 methylpyridine also can analyze that can undergo reaction with this uh, salt that we generate from formaldehyde and dimethylamine when you have acid you can generate this intermediate once you form this one now which can undergo addition reaction you will be able to generate this amino derivative four methylpyridine two methylquinoline and four methylquinoline can also readily undergo addition reaction with this aluminum ion that we generate from aldehyde and amine selectrophile so these are the compounds which can uh, form enolate in also that can undergo addition with this uh, aluminum salt to give the addition product in addition to that beta naphthal also can undergo reaction with this aluminum salt we have the aluminum salt it can undergo addition will be able to generate this intermediate which can lose a proton to give this addition product you can also try to use furan pyrrole indole based derivatives for example in this case C so will be able to generate three substituted into uh, this uh, amine uh, derivative as a product. So, in addition to that, acetylene also can undergo addition reaction with this uh, aluminum salt to give the addition product. Although the acetylene cannot form enol, however, it can undergo manic reaction to give uh, this amine derivative as a product. Uh, the reaction so far we have seen where. we use acid as catalyst to generate the aluminum ion that leads to addition reaction with this uh, compounds that can form enols to give the addition product 
We can also try to make the aluminum salt by substitution react. For example, here you can react acid chloride with this amine. You can form this salt. Once if you have the salt, which can lose this amide to give this aluminum salt, which can we can use as a electrophile. In addition to that. We have tertiary amine, we can try to react with the diiodomethane to give this uh, quaternary ammonium salt, which can when you heat at 150 degrees Celsius can lose methyl iodide can give this aluminum salt, which can be used as electrophile in this addition reaction. So, in this reaction this uh, reacts with this diiodomethane via SN2 pathway, you form this uh, quaternary ammonium salt. Once you form this one, this can further react via SN2 pathway. to give this aluminum ionosis product. So, this can readily react with this uh, 2 methyl cyclopentenone to give this addition product. So, if you can make this aluminum salt, you can carry out this addition reaction uh, in the absence of acid to give this uh, manic product. So, far we have seen the nature of the amines as well as the carbonyl compounds that can be used for the manic reaction. Then we also have seen this formation of uh, aluminum salt that once you form this salt that can be readily reacted with the inolysable compound in the absence of acid to give the manic product. So, in this case in the absence of acid uh, you can try to generate less amount of enol since the reaction exists in equilibrium as soon as you form the enol which can undergo uh, reaction with this aluminum salt you can give the addition product. Here the application of uh, the manic product for the formation of alpha beta unsaturated compound is shown here. Reaction of formaldehyde with uh, dimethyl amine in the presence of catalytic amount of HCl can give this salt. which can undergo reaction with this enol, you can get this manic product. Once if you have this one, you can react with methyl iodide, you will be able to generate a quaternary ammonium salt. Once you form this one, this salt, when you react with base, the base can deprotonate this acidic proton. which can lose trimethylamine to give this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This can be further reduced to give this methyl ethyl ketone. If you do hydrogenation using palladium charcoal and you will be able to get the reduced compound. In addition to that, this methyl vinyl ketone is very important substrate we use as precursor for the Robinson annulation, several other reactions. If you have acidic medium, the cyclohexanone can undergo enol formation. Once you form the enol, which can react with this 
double bond to give the addition product Once you have the ketone, now this can undergo enolization to give this enol, which can lead to addition reaction with this carbonyl group, which can be activated using this uh, proton, you will be able to have this can now undergo protonation, if you have acid, So, when you have acid, it can undergo protonation to give so which can which can lose water molecule, will be able to generate this carbocation, which can lose the proton, will be able to get this as the product. So, here first uh, this uh, whatever enol we generate from this uh, 2 methyl cyclohexanone which undergoes Michael addition 1 4 addition once you form the addition product that can further undergo enol formation the presence of acid that enol which you generate from this carbon this carbonyl group, group can undergo addition reaction to give the aldol product which can undergo dehydration to give the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. Uh, it involves Michael addition followed by aldol condensation which can be uh, carried out using acid as catalyst. If you look at this involves the methyl vinyl ketone as a starting material to construct this compound. Now, let us look at some more examples. We have cyclohexanone as we have seen earlier, you can also try to make the corresponding this uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. 
the reaction of formaldehyde with uh, dimethylamine, the presence of HCl can generate this salt, ammonium salt. which can undergo reaction from the enol that we generate from the ketone addition reaction you will be able to form the manic product. Once you form this one you can try to react with methyl iodide you form quaternary ammonium salt. When you react with the base it can deprotonate this acidic proton then it can lead to elimination to give this uh, methylene compound as the product. Similarly, if you have this unilizable ketone which can also react with the formaldehyde in the presence of HCl with this secondary amine to give this manic product once you form this one which can be reacted with methyl iodide to give the quaternary ammonium salt. So, if you have base you can deprotonate this acidic proton, it can eliminate uh, this amine, you can generate this uh, phenyl vinyl ketone as a product. These uh, conjugated uh, alkenes are very reactive, uh, whenever you required you can try to react using uh, base and you can convert into the unsaturated carbonyl compound you can use for the organic transformations. So, now let us look at the other applications. The manic base also can be further converted into other useful compound. Here is shown here when you react this manic base uh, with the dimethyl sulphate you'll, you can generate this quaternary ammonium salt. Once you form this salt which can, can be reacted with a nucleophile like cyanide ion via SN2 pathway to give the nitrile compound. As a product, uh, in this reaction it has been further converted into carboxylic acid by hydrolysis. So, if you have a nitrile compound, you can convert into carboxylic acid by acid hydrolysis. proton transfer can give so this can further undergo reaction with uh, another molecule of water will be having this uh, intermediate again proton transfer you can lose one proton and add another proton here. So, once if you do it you will be able to have this intermediate this can easily remove you will be able to this can lose a proton, you will be able to generate the carboxylic acid. This is how you can do hydrolysis using acid, you can readily convert the nitrile to carboxylic acid. Another example if you have indole, it can be readily converted into uh, amino acid. 
here the synthesis of uh, this uh, amino acid shown here. Uh, you can react the indole with the uh, iminium salt that you can generate from dimethylamine formaldehyde. You can make uh, this manic product. Once you form this one, you can try to react with this nucleophile. This can be easily formed from this reacting with the base, which can uh, react uh, with this ammonium salt via SN2 pathway. You will be able to uh, produce this compound. When you do a base hydrolysis, the acetyl group can be hydrolyzed to amine and carboxylic acid. Then you can also carry out hydrolysis of uh, the ester and you can get the amino acid. This can be easily when you have this amide. You can uh, react with the base. So, you can uh, in this way you can try to produce the amine, uh, you can deproduct this uh, acetyl group. Uh, acid hydrolysis, you know, if you have ester, you can try to do hydrolysis using acid, you can uh, generate the carboxylic acid as the product. And once you generate the dicarboxylic acid, that can be further converted into monocarboxylic acid via decarboxylation. If you heat the dicarboxylic acid, in acidic medium, it can undergo decarboxylation to uh, produce this amino acid as a product. Here an example shown for the synthesis of alkaloids. Here the reaction of this dialdehyde with this primary amine and this carbonyl compound is shown. It can when you mix all three together and leave it uh, in acidic medium for three days, they undergo double manic reaction to give this bicyclic ketone as a product. Uh, in this reaction, the primary amine as we have seen earlier can react uh, with this aldehyde. Since the reaction medium is acidic in nature, it can undergo condensation to produce this salt which can act as electrophile which can undergo reaction with this enol form of this uh, carbonyl compound. You will be able to generate this addition product. Once you form this one, which can undergo an acidic medium can undergo condensation to give this aluminum salt.
So this aluminum salt can undergo reaction with this enol form to give this addition product. You will get the bicyclic compound. Once you form this one, which can lose carbon dioxide to give this uh, bicyclic ketone. Already we have seen the last class. If you have carboxylic acid and it can react in acidic medium in heat, you can lose carbon dioxide to give this enol that can convert into ketone. So, here if you look at it here, this uh, primary amine undergoes reaction with this uh, dialdehyde, first undergoes condensation with one of the aldehyde, which can undergo addition reaction from the enol that you can generate from the carbonyl compound. You will have this intermediate, once you form this intermediate that can undergo uh, further intramolecular condensation to form this uh, aluminum salt. Once you form this aluminum salt, which can undergo enol intramolecular uh, addition reaction from the enol that you can generate to give this product which can undergo decarboxylation sequentially to give this uh, bicyclic ketone as the product. So, it involves a double manic reaction. Once you form this one, this carbonyl group can be further reduced to alcohol. So, this alcohol has been reacted with this carboxylic acid to give this ester which is known as atropine. Uh, this is used uh, for a certain type of nerve problem as well as it is also used as pesticide poisoning. So, other example if you have uh, just we have seen if you have this dialdehyde if you react with uh, the corresponding carboxylic acid you will be able to generate this bicyclic ketone. Here uh, one of them is uh, converted into ester if you do the reaction as we have seen earlier. Uh, with uh, the primary amine uh, in acidic medium, you will be able to generate this ketone as product by double manic reaction. Once uh, if you form this one, this can be further reduced using appropriate reducing agent to give the corresponding alcoholless product which can be further reacted with the carboxylic acid to give this ester as the product. Similarly, if you use this aldehyde, dialdehyde, you will be able to generate this bicyclic ketone as the product. Here also what happens is a double manic reaction is involved. Following that decarboxylation takes place to give this ketone and if you look at all the cases you have to use one equivalent of this dialdehyde and uh, one equivalent of this primary amine and this uh, carbonyl compound, uh, you will generate two molecules as of water as a byproduct. So, since the reaction uh, it involves a double manic reaction, uh, you will generate two molecules of water as a byproduct. So, here another example shown here and in this case the reaction of uh, secondary amine uh, and formaldehyde and this ketone is involved. As we have seen earlier, the reaction of this amine with this formaldehyde can generate the aluminum salt, which can undergo a reaction with this enol that you can generate, it can undergo addition reaction. You can get this addition product, which can be reduced using uh, reducing agent to give the alcohol, this can be further reacted with the acid to give this ester as the product. The other application is the synthesis of uh, spatin. Uh, 
Uh, this secondary amine, uh, cyclic amine can be uh, reacted with uh, formaldehyde. You have to use here 2 equivalent of formaldehyde and 2 equivalent of amine with 1 equivalent of acetone in, acidic, in, acidic, in the presence of acetic acid and you will be able to generate this addition product which also involves double manic reaction. So, once if you form the aluminum salt, this can undergo addition reaction. will generate this additional product. Once you form this one, then this ketone can be converted into enol that can further react with this aluminum salt. You can get this addition product. Once you form this one, this should be green color, this both this and this are coming from the secondary amine and this blue color comes from the acetone and this comes from the formaldehyde. Once you form this one, when you react with the, this mercury acetate, you will be able to generate the imine, uh, imine salt. Once you uh, form the imine salt, now that enol what you generate from this ketone which can undergo addition reaction with this, you will be able to form this intermediate which can further undergo enol formation. So, you will be able to generate uh, this uh, compound, carbonyl compound. Once you form this one, you can uh, reduce the carbonyl group to give this uh, spotiness the product. This is a uh, Wolf Kishner reduction. So, uh, when you have the carbonyl compound, When you do condensation with the hydrazine, you will be able to form hydrazone. So, this can uh, react with base, deprotonation of this proton can can form this uh, ion which can
give this intermediate which can further react with base deprotonation can give water plus cyan which can converted into so further it can abstract the proton from water so using uh, hydrazine in the presence of base you can try to reduce uh, the carbonyl compound into hydrocarbon um, this is the mechanism is a, a well known reaction it can easily you can transform ketone to uh, hydrocarbons so this slide shows some of the examples here the reaction of uh, this secondary amine with uh, formaldehyde uh, is shown which can undergo condensation to give uh, the aluminum salt once you form this one which can now undergo uh, intramolecular cyclization to give this uh, addition compound this another interesting example here this aldehyde can react with this amine secondary amine uh, to give the aluminum salt once you form this one this can undergo addition reaction to give this uh, product here an example shown for uh, the enhanced selective synthesis of the manic product the presence of l proline the reaction of a stone can be carried out with uh, four nitrobenzaldehyde and this aniline derivative to give this addition product uh, if you uh, replace the a stone uh, with this uh, carbonyl compound and if you change the aromatic to aliphatic aldehyde isobutyl aldehyde you can also try to react with this uh, uh, aniline derivative to give the addition product when you use this substrate uh, the enantiomeric excess is reduced to 65 percent uh, these are the some of the examples for the recent developments in manic reaction the manic reaction is one of the powerful organic transformations which can be extensively explored and these are the some of the examples you can see here so let us make summary first we have seen uh, the mechanism of uh, the original manic reaction following that uh, the type of substrate that can undergo uh, manic reaction we have seen you can use primary secondary amine or ammonia uh, they can undergo sequential manic reaction for example if you use ammonia it can uh, react with three molecule of uh, formaldehyde and uh, other nucleophile you can get the addition product you can uh, the amine should be ammonia primary or secondary amine similarly you have to use aldehyde you can use in the place of formaldehyde other aldehyde also which should not undergo enol formation the condensation takes place you can form the imine salt which acts as electrophile which undergoes reaction with variety of uh, uh, reactant we have seen uh, we have seen the reaction of aldehyde ketone beta naphthal and uh, other related compounds you can also try to react with uh, two methyl pyridine it can readily undergo addition reaction to give this uh, beta amino derivative as a product then also we have seen how you can convert the manic base into variety of useful compounds uh, if you have the manic base we can you can try to react with the further alkyl halide for example methyl iodide you can make quaternary ammonium salt once if you form the salt you can try to uh, react with the base and you can do elimination you can get the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound which we use as a, a reactant for variety of organic transformations these uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds are very reactive therefore whenever you need you can try to make it and you can do the uh, further transformation 
Uh, for example, we have seen the formation of methylphenyl ketone. You can make it, you can use for, we use uh, that compound for the Robinson annulation. You can uh, do Michael addition followed by aldol condensation to get the uh, bicyclic carbonyl compound. Then also we have seen the application for the alkaloid synthesis. We have seen several examples there and you can uh, try to keep uh, the reaction condition below uh, pH uh, 7 acidic medium then it can undergo multiple manic reaction to give uh, interesting uh, bicyclic compound. We have seen variety of uh, applications there and you can also, we also have seen how you can uh, react the manic, manic base with uh, nucleophile. For example, if you have indole, you can do manic reaction further, you can react with appropriate nucleophile. You can convert into amino acid, these are some of the important applications. Later, we have also seen you have you can use a chiral catalyst. You can end up with uh, optically active uh, manic base as the product, which can be further used for the variety of construction of variety of optically active organic compounds. With this, we conclude this lecture. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.